Hey, Tim Sykes here with a little morning recap. We've had a lot of plays this morning. Um, I've got a little busy afternoon, so I just wanted to go over the lessons right now. Um, where do I start? Ay, ay, ay. I've already made roughly $1,000 today on GSAT and SYNC. I'm filming this at 10, 18 a.m. Eastern. Uh, you can hear I'm not 100% better, but I'm, I'm still feeling better. Um, so thank you guys for your, your well wishes. I appreciate that. Um, but what I've been doing is taking small profits, aiming for singles instead of home runs. Uh, over the weekend, I'm not sure if you realize this, but I posted this video of Mark Crook. Uh, he is one of my upcoming millionaire students. He's made about $630,000. I highly encourage you to watch that video. Uh, we brought him up on stage at my annual conference, and he's not used to the spotlight. It's kind of funny to see his reaction. But one of the points I brought up was, you know, he hits me up all the time and, you know, he, he makes a lot of trades. Um, but what he doesn't realize is that, and, and I do realize this because I see his messages and I see messages probably from more traders than anybody else in the world. Literally, I'm seeing what everyone is having issues with. And his main issue, first of all, you know, it's awesome to make 630 grand. You know, he just got married. He moved to Miami. He's living the dream life. Got out of the cubicle. Uh, but his main issue is is over trading and not really realizing that it's okay to take singles because he messages me probably every three, maybe four or five days, right? Like once a week, roughly. And he's like, oh, I could have made 10 grand today, but I made two grand. I'm so pissed. And this happens quite often. And thank God, you know, we created Profitly so you can track your, your overall profits because otherwise he would probably be pretty pissed where he sees all these opportunities where he could make 10 grand and he's making a grand or two instead. But as you can see, it's adding up nicely. $630,000, he was able to quit his cubicle job. Now he works whenever he wants, even if he personally can't see it. We all have blind spots. Trust me, I have a lot of blind spots. Um, and we all do. And his blind spot is that, you know, hitting singles is, is not – that fun for him. You know, he wants to go for the home runs. There's a lot of gunslingers in this industry and they post their trades, you know, when they have a huge home run and then they're very quiet when they, when they don't have a home run because they're really striking out and they don't want to show it. They're not on profitly. They're not showing their entire track record. They're just showing a screenshot here or there because their ego demands it. They want all the attention that there's some great trader. If you want to be thought of as a great trader, show every trade publicly, good and bad, okay? A lot of people get pissed because I'm trading with a small account and I get all this attention because I show all my trades, good and bad. And trading with a small account, even though people on Wall Street with their fucked up priorities think that trading with a small account is bad, it actually really helps you hone in on your discipline and your process. And I encourage a lot of you guys who maybe you're making a lot of money, but you're risking a lot and you're, you're a little sloppy with your process, trade with a small account, you know? It's no different than like a major league baseball player dropping down in the minor leagues when he has to work on something, you know? It happens. Your ego takes a hit when you're trading with less money and you're making less money. Your ego takes a hit if you're a major league ball player and you're forced to go down in the minor leagues to prove yourself. But... Forget about ego, it's actually really good to trade with a small account. And those of you guys trading with a small account, guess what? It's not the end of the world to dip down and go back to paper trading every now and then if you're having issues or you feel you want to work on your process. It's not about how much money you're making today. It's how much can you make in the future repeatedly over and over and over again. Success comes down to a process. So... Learning takes time. Getting better takes time. I should mention we have this uh, Hanukkah and Christmas sale back on for the next few days where you can save on these newsletters uh, and guides 30, 40, 50, 60% off. I'll post the link uh, below this video. But a lot of people ask me, like, why are there no discounts on monthly memberships? You know, people are like, well, I don't know if I can commit to learning for a year. I just want to learn for a month or two. No. You're not going to be my next millionaire student learning for a month or two, okay? And if you can't commit at least a year to me of studying, I'm not interested in teaching you. 
It's kind of cool to be real in an industry full of scams. I'm not looking for the most number of students. I'm looking for dedicated students. And I know that's tough for some people to understand because this whole industry is geared to like, oh, how many subscribers can we get? How big of a newsletter can we get? I want millionaire students. And that does not come from people who are interested in learning for a day or two or a week or two or a month or two. This takes time. Eric Russell, who just passed $100,000, where was his comment? He posted somewhere. I have too many video lessons. I got to find his comment. Hold on. It was a really good comment. Uh, where was Eric Russell? Ay, ay, ay. Maybe it was here. No, this is Mark Crook. Mark Crook also makes video lessons. I don't know if you guys realize that. So that's why he's my student of the year. Not just for his profits, but for, you know, his efforts. I don't know. I can't find it. But Eric Russell left a comment. He turned uh, 5000 into 100000 but he also spent several months practicing with paper trading. And Stocks to Trade is going to have paper trading in the next few weeks. I can't wait. Anyways, let's talk about the stocks that are moving right now because some of you guys have absolutely nailed it. Um, I'm getting tweets nonstop. Literally, Sniper Trades just made 470. I got to give him props. I love it when you guys show me screenshots. Please continue to do so. Keep tweeting me. Uh, here's Double R. He got an XGT, XGTI at 310 out at 450. Uh, that's awesome, making 50%. Uh, here's Miguel, small trade. Again, making like 50% on his money. Quick $590 profit on XGTI. Awesome job, Miguel. XGTI was the morning spike of the day. Um, I tried buying it right in here. Uh, right near the open at 3.20, 3.30, I missed my execution. Those of you in my chat room, I specifically said, I'm not going to chase this. I think a good trade is to buy this in the low threes and sell it in the high threes. I underestimated it. It actually went all the way to nearly five. But at the same time, now it's nearly a dollar a share off its highs. So I was on the right track. HMNY, I specifically, I mean, there was no time to buy this. You had to be in like in a minute or two. Um, and a lot of people wanted to chase this in the fives, and I was like, do not chase it. With these stocks, I don't mind missing a trade, but I really mind when people chase the stock, and then, you know, you're chasing it in the fives, and now, now it's in the four sixes, you're down a dollar a share. So I don't mind missing plays. I prefer singles rather than going for home runs. Um, and if you look at my trades today, uh, what are my big profits? Nothing huge, but a few hundred dollars on GSAT and a few hundred dollars on SYNC. GSAT got, uh, there's rumors of FCC approval. Those of you who have been trading for a while know that this spiked, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, a little while ago, uh, right in here, from the ones to the to nearly three on rumors of FCC approval. Uh, they didn't get it, and that's when, you know, it really tanked. But now the rumors are back. And the rumors are that it's on the FCC's docket to approve. So the question is, when do you buy? So today, I didn't really want to buy it, you know, when it was up from 115 to 145. It doesn't have a, a good history of holding spikes. But I do know that this FCC approval is a big catalyst. So I'm looking for potential buys. So here, you know, 9.15 a.m., it hits 125. 9.31 a.m., it hits 125. Ignore this one. This is just a typo. But this is a little bit of a double bottom here at 125. So I'm buying it on this dip here in the low 120s or the, the mid 120s. Nothing huge, you know, and I've already sold it for, I mean, I don't know, like five or six cents a share. It didn't spike as much as I wanted. But now, you know, I'd be up 10 cents a share. I don't care about selling too soon either. A lot of people give me shit like, oh, Tim, you're out so quickly. You play like such a wuss. Yeah, that's how I trade. But the fact that it's now uptrending and I'd be up, you know, a thousand bucks or so, I was on the right track. So I'll take this as a win, double win. Win because I made money, win because I played it safe and I followed my rules when I didn't get the morning spike, and then a secondary win in my head because guess what? I was on the right track. Don't de-emphasize being on the right track. There's a whole contingent of, of idiots out there who say, oh, it doesn't matter what a stock does once you're out. 
if you're a lifelong learner of the markets, of course it matters what the stock does when you're out. You know, XGTI, I said, don't chase. And it kept going. So I'm going to learn from that. And I'm going to say, wait a minute. Maybe I, I guess I should have been a little more aggressive on this one. HMNY, I said, don't chase. And I was dead on right. So between HMNY and XGTI, there's lessons in that. If you're quick, you could capture both of them or, you know, maybe one of them. There's more people. I, I, I can't even congratulate all of you guys. There's so many of you um, tweeting me. And I love this. Uh, CJ made 869 on HMNY. He caught HMNY. Good job. Um, let's see. Sean says XGTI is the only bright spot today. Yeah, I mean, it's the biggest spiker, but it's not the only bright spot. A lot of you guys need to focus on just learning and looking at how these stocks react to different patterns and catalysts. It's not just about the money that you make. I, I know it's tough to understand because you're in this for money, but you really have to be a student. You have to be a scientist. And you have to think, what can I do to grow my education? What can I do to test? Uh, here's Trade Formula made 200 bucks on GSAT. You know, nothing huge, but good job. And, you know, you, you learn. Um, I like this. Rihan, uh, Ria, I, I highlighted her the other day, and she nailed XGTI at 395, sold at 433, going for singles, home runs. Part three of checklist really helped with this one. Good. Good job, Rhea. Uh, Lee Smith, I like this. Uh, nailing XGTI very early. Very, very early. Awesome. In at 281, out at 390 on just 500 shares. And again, Wall Street will look down on this. Everyone will look down on this. Oh, it's just small money. But it's the process that matters. And this is why I'm so focused on, you know, teaching you guys how to make a few hundred dollars because it adds up, you know, as you can see, I have all these lessons. I mean, we're at 4,300 lessons now. How many of these lessons have you watched? Okay. My student of the year, Mark Crook, it's not just about the $630,000 that he's made. He's watched all of my video lessons three times and he continues watching them. So he is a lifelong student and it's paying off big time. And that's what I want for you guys. I can see your stats. I don't think you guys realize this, okay? Part of the reason why I post like pictures of my Lamborghini and cash and stuff like that, I can see what motivates you to study. And if I post pictures of my Lamborghini and my Ferrari and cash and exotic trips and my charity, whatever it takes to get you guys studying more because studying is the key. It's not just trading. There's a lot of chat rooms out there and they just trade a whole bunch of shit. And they mention a whole bunch of tickers. And guess what? They don't post their whole track record publicly. Okay? Because it's ugly. I don't care if you're making money every day. If you're trading freaking a thousand different trades, you're a slave to your job. Okay? I've already made roughly a thousand bucks in under an hour today. I could be done if I wasn't teaching. But I love teaching. And I love showing you how these stocks play out. HMNY, I was dead on right to say don't chase. XGTI, I mean, eventually I was right, but I, I underestimated a little bit. GSAT, buys in the 120s. On this bottom, guess what? I was on the right track, and I took profits a little too soon. SYNC, I held over the weekend. Eh, it's still up. It's still 320 by 325. I was in at 310. Agora picked this as the, the number one uh, small cap pick for 2017. So I thought that Agora subscribers... You know, they're the biggest newsletter in the world would push it up today. Maybe Agora is not as powerful as I once thought. So I learn from it, but I still profit and I take profits carefully. That is today's lesson. So do me a favor, leave a comment if you really understand this. Type in the words, you know, type in the word really, R-E-A-L-L-Y in the comment section if you've gotten to 14 minutes in this video where you're understanding that no one trade is going to make you rich. And it, yet, if you, you know, break the rules and you go all in and you use leverage and you don't cut losses quickly, any one trade could make you poor. So the odds are not in your favor on rich versus poor on any one trade. But if you want to actually do get rich, if you actually do want to be my next millionaire student, you'll understand that it's a process. And the process takes time. And that one trade can help you learn. And one trade can help you earn. You grow your account gradually. 
you grow your knowledge base gradually. And in time, it pays off. That's today's lesson. Remember, take advantage of this sale. Happy holidays. And type in the word really if you get what I'm saying.